Hi, this is a brief introduction to how to use the robust phylogenetic analysis uh, for the non-specialist tools. They're available at the web address shown here. I'm going to jump over to that website. When you load it up, you'll see this uh, page. We're looking specifically at the phylogenetic tools, so if you scroll down, you'll see some of the options here. I'm going to go back up to the main menu just because it's the first thing you see and click on phylogenetic analysis there. For the purposes of this exercise, we'll be using the a la carte tools, meaning that we'll get to choose f tools for each of these four steps of a phylogenetic analysis. You can see we're going to build a workflow because there are several things we have to do. We have to align the sequences. We have multiple sequences. We need to uh, set them up so that we're comparing apples to apples. I'd like us to use the cluster LW tool for that. The alignment curation step is something that I'm going to have us turn off because these sim sequences are quite similar to each other. We should not need to manually curate those alignments at all. When we build the phylogenetic tree from the multiple sequence alignment, we can use the uh, maximum likelihood tool there, file ML. And then uh, for visualization, we will choose the tree uh, DYN. And you'll have the option to run the entire workflow at once or step by step. I'll show you how you can go back through the step by step part. Um, and I've clicked create the workflow. And so now you can see that the workflow at the top of the screen reflects our choices. And you can see where we stand in those choices with these boxes here. We need some data. So I've got a collection of sequence data here. I'm copying it and I'm going to paste it into this box. Alternatively, you could add the data by choosing a file, though you have to make sure that file is in a flat text format, uh, not in a Word document, because Word carries a bunch of other information that the program can't interpret. We have the option to set some parameters for those steps of the analyses. Uh, at this stage, we're just going to run with the defaults. So I've clicked the Submit button, and you can see now that the workflow has moved from the data and settings step to the alignment step. And we've got this nice little animated graphic showing us that it's working away on the alignment, trying to find the best arrangement of those sequences. That step has been completed. You can see we've now moved to the phylogeny step and we had the growing tree. And now it has a representation of our output in our tree rendering program. You can see here we've got a cluster of sequences that are very similar to each other, another cluster that are very similar, and this sort of outlier here. That's all we're going to do for this tutorial. Come back for the next one.